Free kick. Fouled by Hughes. Taken quickly by Seeks to Cowens. With McMahon. Well, that happened. That shot by McMahon. But that happened because Didio Seeks took a free kick so quickly, Manchester United hadn't settled down. Quick thinking there by the new player. Seeks has pulled it back to Gibson. And that's floated for Birch. And that's useful for Rideout. Gibson waiting for Seeks to make his run inside Duxbury. Beautifully done. And Seeks. And with. Off the line, was it? Over the line. A goal for Peter with From DDA Seeks. Brilliant run. Seeks makes an early impression on the England stage. He made a brilliant run inside Duxbury. He was beautifully found. And then when he crossed it, Peter Wiz had a beat Bailey. He got a hand to it. And it was over the line before the defender hooked it out. Cowens. Wiz in there again. Alan Evans. Oh, he's there! Evans has scored. 2-0. Manchester United looking around at the goalkeeper. He must have been unsighted. Peter Wynn set it up. Evan shot didn't seem to have that much power, but it was right in the corner. Bailey couldn't get there. And Aston Villa, who made an uncertain start to the season, have made a very confident start to this match. It was Williams header to McMahon. That's a good try as well, that's worth from Steve McMahon. All this to well played, Olsen. Hughes, they're appealing for a penalty. It was Ormsby on Hughes. The referee was well positioned and said no. But just a moment there when Ormsby tangled with Hughes in the box. One or two United players thought they might have had a penalty. And right out going to the near post area, Ormsby's also there. Whistle's gone. It seemed to go in off Alan Brazil, actually, but there was a foul in there. Close thing, though. Brazil being challenged by Ormsby. Oh, with right out. Number three for Villa. Right out scores. And the problem there was that when the corner came in from Cowens, Hogg seemed to miss it. With knocked it on, and Rideout had quite a lot of time in a game like this. To Moses. Brazil. Good turn. Good save. Mervyn Day so alert. But the best I've seen from Alan Brazil, perhaps in a Manchester United shirt, it was a superb turn. Back to his Ipswich best there. Oh, good one too. Williams and Seeks. Williams again. Oh, right outside netting. Well, Gary Williams, who's never scored in his Aston Villa career in the league, played a good one too with DDA Seeks. It wasn't far away. It ended up almost as a cross to right out. Birch is on the right. The two big men aren't forward yet. But Walters is! Well, more in space there, seemed to say, where on earth was the marking? And it, <laughs> it's a good break, actually, by Villa, because it didn't have with or right out in the box, but Walters, having just come on, put his header just over the bar. And Mira, now there's promise here for Manchester United, they've got a man over, Hughes. And Orbiston is the man from the back, and Brazil, no! Defender got there. Evans and Ormsby both got back to block it. Alan Brazil nearly in there at the end for United. Manchester United's unbeaten run is emphatically ended. Their first defeat of the season and Aston Villa's best performance surely since Graham Turner took over as manager. Right out got the third goal to sew it up in the second half.
but the lesson of the match, apart from DDA Six, was in midfield. Gordon Carnes getting back to his best, helped to run the match. And with McMahon also in good form, Villa in that department showed up the absence of Brian Robson and found the platform for a very impressive 3-0 victory.